All right, let's start with the view before we do some math. Wow. Okay, it's going to be hard to focus, but let's look at some math. All right, let's look at section 8.3. Solve by factoring. Now, this is review. First thing I'm going to do is put this in standard form. x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Remember, equal 0 descending power order down to the constant. This is a trinomial, so we're going to factor it like this. I've got an x and an x. Let's see, I'm going to need a positive 4 and a negative 2. And of course, that will check out with chin and grin. When you chin and grin it, you get the middle term. Set each factor to 0. x plus 4 is 0, or x minus 2 is 0. Here I have x is negative 4, and here I have x is a positive 2. And we're done. Now, the problem with factoring is not all quadratic equations will factor. So there are two other methods we need to learn. One of those methods in this section is referred to as the square root property. And what that says is, if a quadratic equation looks like this, if x squared is equal to k, where k is some constant, then your answers to that equation can be found by doing two things. First of all, to undo squaring, you take the square root of k, and the next thing you do is you put a plus or minus in front, because there are two answers, both the positive and the negative. This is referred to as the square root property. So, if I'm asked to solve the next equation using the square root property, a squared equals 36, notice it's already in the form we need, something squared equals a constant, something squared equals a constant, so my answer, my a, those are my answers, are found by, it's called the square root property, so you use that. You take the square root of 36, and remember to put the plus or minus in front. So a is equal to plus or minus 6. And those are our two answers to this equation, and that method is not called factoring, that's called applying the square root property.